Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. My name is Brittany. And today we want to talk about this powerful time that the entire world is participating in and what we can do with it. If you've been curious about what ConnorandBrittany.com membership is all about, we have just released free membership. We'd love for you to come on over and check out the videos, exercises, discounts, and so much more. Also, get into our secret group on Facebook. Do it. I've been feeling this deep call of stillness and the opportunity to go within. Yes. And I feel it individually and I feel it collectively all around me. Things are literally slowing down. Big time. Yeah, I mean, everything has just kind of stopped. There's like very little traffic. There's so many factories that are not producing. There are so many jobs that are not available. And it can be a scary time for a lot of people. And it is also a time when maybe it's the first time that you have been able to be at home and be asked to not do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of, I think that, I think that is more what is challenging for most people. To slow down. Yes. I, I think that in general, it can, a fear of the unknown can come up and right now mm. it's a great time of change. So it makes sense that it could feel scary for some people. And I think we are being, for those tuning into the media have been fed some fear. So that might be on top as something that you're taking in, but really, what is consistent throughout all of this is that it is a time of slowing down. There is a spaciousness, and I believe one of the main reasons it's coming through is that we have really asked for it as a collective. I think we've been going so hard mm. that there's this natural recalibration period mm -hmm. where things are stopping. And so many people have said to us over the years, like, oh, I'd love to do that inner work, or I'd love to have more time to focus on my relationships or my family or my physical body, my emotional or spiritual practices, but I just don't have the time yeah. because I have to go to work basically. Mm -hmm. And for most people that has been removed right now. Yeah. And it's such a beautiful time to go within. And I feel this amazing opportunity for myself to, to be in the stillness and to be with myself and to take it as a time to work on some things that I've wanted to dive into deeply. Absolutely. Yeah, and we often ask for the next level. We ask for the thing that we perceive would be better for us, but we don't generally ask for the challenge that it sometimes takes in order to get to the next level. So it's not like we collectively were like, hey, it'd be really cool if there was like this virus that kind of spread around the world and shut everything down. But we have been asking right. to have the stillness, to have the opportunity to stop. And sometimes what comes with the next level is the challenge. It's like you kind of, you kind of need a bit of that challenge in life to propel yourself to the next place. So none of us are asking for it challenge necessarily or certainly not pain and discomfort and people getting sick and fear and anxiety but all of that stuff is an opportunity for each of us to take that pain and to take that challenge and to grow from it and right now we are set up to be with ourselves and to embrace that opportunity in a totally different way than if we were still running around and going to work and going to the grocery store and, da -da 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 and all that stuff. So to be asked to stay at home and to take a breath and to be with your family or to be with yourself, it is absolutely an opportunity. And without these circumstances, I don't think there would be a lot of people that would just choose that. And so there is this sort of beautiful, like, yeah, we have this, this painful, scary stuff happening. And also we have this incredible, beautiful opening opportunity to utilize this time. For me, it's been such a perfect time to, on a deeper level, take responsibility for myself and my energy field and how I'm showing up, what I'm allowing in, what I mm. am emitting to mm. those around me and ultimately to the world. I believe that the world we experience, the world that we experience as individuals is a reflection of our inner worlds. And 
we've heard it in so many ways, but that the change really begins from within. And so whatever we want to experience in the world around us, we get to cultivate that on an inner level. And I feel that we're getting this time to do that and then bring it to our immediate family or whoever we're sharing a home with mm. and get to practice it in that way. And so it could be that how that might be manifesting in your life or in our lives is reflections that we're getting from people that we're living with and areas that we're getting an opportunity to grow with them through. And that's a beautiful thing to be going on right now too. And it's it's like we get this micro environment to practice these larger scale world things. And it feels so precious to have this mm. time. And I could imagine it feeling unknown or like this time is expanding longer than some people thought, or maybe it's gonna go on and how long. And really, anytime I feel stuff like that come up, I'm reminding myself, this is a precious time and it's going to change. And the gifts that are here right now I'm embracing right now and I really want to do that because it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. And with this like inner fire we're lighting and then practicing with our immediate family or, or friends we're living with, we get to really cultivate it strongly and then there's gonna be this opening that's gonna occur more and more and we get to share it with the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love everything you said. Thank you for that. Thank you. And there is the, the fear and the anxiety to move through and to be with and to not stifle. And simultaneously, you know, to do that inner work that we've all been asking for the space to do. This is the time. So both things can exist simultaneously. For sure. You know, you can feel uncomfortable and sort of scared and maybe even overwhelmed at times and also be moving towards a deeper connection with yourself and, and a deeper connection in a universal way you know, uh, talking about universal love and talking about compassion for yourself and for others and for people you don't know. Um, developing this, this understanding that we are all interconnected and that that connection starts very strongly with you as an individual. You know, I think like that is something that we are all craving to have more of. And because we have been running, 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 even though we know that it's possible for us to jump into that beautiful stream of interconnectedness we haven't and this is our time to do yeah. that yeah it's so beautiful that we're all experiencing such a similar yeah. thing that we're all connected it in this shows. really interesting way yeah it's really highlighting that exactly and i love what you said about these things existing simultaneously and how everything is so interconnected so for me the fear and anxiety that could surface is directly connected to the inner growth and all the self work mm -hmm. I'm doing. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect opportunity to embrace both simultaneously and really yeah. to embrace all dualities simultaneously. Yeah. The last big piece that comes up for me, um, you know, any time that we feel like a little bit powerless, one of the most powerful things we can do is to contribute is to offer contribution. Yeah. And you can do that in so many ways. And I think it's important to, to, to set the knowledge that you working on yourself is the best contribution you can make True. to the world. And there are obviously more maybe direct things that feel more obvious to you, like just you know, sending someone a nice message or putting a post online that is of positive regard. Um, you know, we have this grapefruit tree, for example, and we have way too many grapefruit to, to eat. And so we've just been, mainly Brittany and Ilya, have been built, putting this box outside every day. And we've been doing that for like a week now. It's been so fun picking and you, the grapefruit. you can't imagine how much it changes oh people's God, lives. Like I've been at this window it. sitting here and I'm on the computer and I'll watch and people are running by and then they stop and they double take. And then they take a grapefruit and they have this big smile. And like kids have been riding their bike over and like, I'm gonna get two. And they get, you know, it's amazing. Like and leaving us really sweet notes. Yeah. Yeah, someone left us some us bread, yeah. um, a home, homemade bread. And, they wrote yeah, on our pictures. sign that they love us. And like, yeah, I mean, that kind of thing, it's in a way, it's such a simple gesture. A smile, for example, you know, even if you have to stay six feet away from someone, you can still smile at them. I mean, these really simple things can change people's lives, not just in the moment, but forever. And the type of energy that you give to someone, it's incredibly powerful. Yeah, the energy and the intention behind what we're doing is everything. And I think that's why cultivating that inner mm. 
that inner world, the way we want it to look is so important because then any action we feel inspired to do is gonna be done with that beautiful energy. And that's yeah. what we get to contribute. And it doesn't matter what the action is, it's the energy behind it that matters. Yeah, and so this is a good place for us to insert, um, you know, something that really has helped us feel like we, we can contribute to the world yes. and focus on interconnectedness is making videos like this, having our Instagram page and working on our membership site. Yeah. And this has really sparked the desire to create a community that's 100% free. And so membership has always been paid on our site and we just released, I think it was like three days ago yeah, or something, ago. Um, the option for free membership. And so you get a segment of what paid membership gets and you also get the opportunity to join our private Facebook group where you have access to, at this time, over 2,000 other people that are, you know, like you, looking for love, looking for inspiration, wanting to work on themselves, wanting to work on relationship. And so we wanted to do that because it feels good for us. And we also feel like that's a really awesome thing that could be an opportunity for you individually that could help during this time, you know, both get you centered and also maybe help feel like you're not, you're not alone in this. Yeah, and specifically the videos and exercises over there are all geared towards inner work and work in your intimate relationships. It's, so. it's the perfect time the perfect for time it. perfect time for this it. This is the time. This is the time. <laughs> Yeah, we love you so much. So we'll put that link for the so free much. membership in the description box. I love you. So I, much. I love you. I love. I love you so much. <laughs> mm, love you. Love you. I love you. Love you. Have a beautiful day. Yeah. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.